Yo! <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Before we get going, before I show you this new motion decoy system that all of you have been asking about since that wood duck band pond video, got to tell you something. Ducks Waterfowl is getting ready to launch our Black Friday, let's just call it a, a bonanza. This is a whole, like, what, Thursday through Monday. Right here, guys. Screenshot this. Screenshot it right now on your phones. Uh, this is the list of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday sales. All of them are 40% sales. Uh, either hoodies, hats, dog products, uh, cold gear, all of it. So, screenshot this so you know when these sales are rolling. Head over to duckswaterfowl.com. It is always linked at the top of the description below. Thank you guys. Let's get into it. Oh no. Oh no. Is there a stick around here? Yo! Did not expect this. Look at all the tumbleweeds in it. I know, just right on top. <laughs> this is the uh, backyard pond with the pit blind. T Diddy's pit blind over there. Uh, did not expect it to be frozen. Part of the, uh, that's thick. Can you walk on it thick? What is it, 50 degrees right now? Yeah. 55? Nope. That is not gonna work, my friend. <laughs> oh man. It's only one thing to do. The Argo? Yeah, <laughs> the Argo baby. Let's do it, we gotta make it happen. If we get it opened up, we might get some ducks in here. Yeah. The pond is frozen solid. I don't know how thick, but too thick. See if it's better down here. Wow. I did not, ooh, slick. Oh, oh, it's thin, it's out, thin there. out there. Argo. I can't get down over there, it's all a cliff. Right here? That ain't bad. been asking a lot uh, because you've seen uh, what was it the wood duck band video right that's what it was yeah uh, we used it on the wood duck band video and it was thunderstorm raining that day this is quick coys y'all have been wondering what it is uh, it just came out just hit the market um, and they're they're amazing American made product right here fellas and uh, I'm gonna tell you I ran it on three hunts and they weren't back to back to back. It was like one, then two days later, three days later. And it lasted three hunts, roughly. So don't quote me on that. That's just what it did for me. Quick Coys, again, made in America. Quality, quality product here, guys. So, comes in this bag. Little Quick Coys bag. And uh, this is the unit. This is the brains of the operation. Uh, waterproof box, waterproof switches, waterproof connections. Open her up, see what lays inside here. Big battery, absolutely huge. massive. Man. Biggest in any electronic decoy I've seen. Yes. Guys, huge battery in here. It's a 12 volt battery, um, and you just use alligator connectors on a little uh, 110 adapter. 110 plug that charges uh, 12 volt. Uh, I just used a car charger an actual trickle charger so as long as it's a 12 volt charger it will work um, the brains of the operation is this this is a little computer system that tells when to give the propeller power that is the only powered 
thing on this is uh, the propeller and it's pretty darn cool. So this is uh, how it packs up when you put it in the bag. All your decoys stay on it. It all fits in the bag. What we have here is a uh, four teal on the bottom and a mallard up top. It does come with the teal if you want them. He, he, he sells these with the teal decoys. But uh, we will show you how she runs real quick. So I'll undo my Velcro. Again, the only thing powered is this. It's upside down right now, but that is a metal shaft, metal impeller, and uh, boy, does it have some power. It doesn't, it, dude. And I haven't been on a hunt where it's running. You haven't watched it? I've seen seen it in a video, but so this big springs attached, so it actually floats like this, right? Before I turn it on, I put the big mallard decoy in the middle for buoyancy, keep it all up out of the water better. Um, and then all these spread out like this, right? Called a spreader. So a motion spreader system. And to power it up, do not have your fingers in the way of this propeller, man. It will, it'll hurt you. And I am not, not messing around. Okay, I gotta flip it upside down. It looks like a mess, it's not at all. It's very easy to use. I'm just trying to get it all laid out so you guys can see what I'm doing. Here's the uh, connection here, power connection. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. oh, yeah, well, easy. Don't have your fingers in the way of that bad boy. Um, it is powerful, man. Come and film this propeller here. So, here's that propeller again. Here's the on switch. <laughs> yeah, it gets it. So it stops. This little computer system is on a timer. So that's how long it goes in intervals. And I'm not sure how long it waits. Probably a couple minutes, like 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I bet. Yeah. So every 30 seconds, it goes for like five to seven seconds. Pretty neat. So we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna sew up our box. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you, these are not cheap for a reason. They're American made, they're very high quality. I, I will back them 100% because this is the most insane motion decoy I have ever, not only owned, but seen. Really skeptical. I've always been real skeptical with more batteries out in the field, especially having a battery in the water. You know what I mean? So hopefully I don't bust my cheeks. I don't know how deep it gets over here. How quick it is. So propeller down. Throw her out there. Look, it just sits up for you. I'm gonna make sure I don't have my cord tangled. And then I don't have it out far enough. Let's see if we can get out a little farther. We'll see how it works in this ice. I haven't tried it in ice yet, so I'm pretty curious. The ice ain't helping it. Oh, there it goes. God dang. Dude. It hauls. Dude, it's unreal. All right, let me get out of its way. Check her out. The spacing's nice too. Watch. It's gonna go that way now. Dude. Isn't that unreal? It's pretty cool. I mean, it's awesome just to watch because it looks so natural. There it goes again. So when it turns like that, what it's doing, that cord, when it, when the cord, the electrical cord from the battery box, the battery box is essentially the weight that keeps it down. And there it goes again. So whichever you have, way you have tension, it's gonna go the opposite way. So when it gets tension, it turns. It's really neat. He said, uh, he said, honestly, Bobby, you know, one of the biggest topics is spinner decoys and people hunting public with spinners and ducks hating them you know he was like i promise you you take out one or two of these only throw some floaters around it if you want you can take like six floaters and one of these he was like you'll wreck them you'll wreck them leave the spinners at home this could be the new i i mean i'm not lying how no, much is sweet. the really good well, spinners that's... now well and that's uh you just bought one didn't you i didn't I, they're like 120 bucks a pop but that's for a single Really, that's just the regular ones, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, 
um, if you're if you're looking for something, number one, if you're looking for something to get away from spinner decoys and draw attention, this is by far the best thing that I've seen. What about you? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, uh, my big thing too. I'm I'm not big on the spinner wings anymore, especially if they're not working. Pull them, but there's nothing like this you're out there. You're never gonna pull that. There, there's nothing like this that's this easy. No way. Like there's there's like the electronic jerk cords and all this other stuff. It doesn't that is that was so easy to set up. Boom. I mean you don't even have to I just unplug it to have two separate places. You can keep it all plugged in. I just do that so in case this the uh switch gets flipped to on, that propeller isn't in the bag running. So you go cut your cord up. Cut my cord up, or you can just open the deal and disconnect one of the batteries too. Yeah. But that right there, I promise you, is by far. By far, other than just a floater by itself, right, is by far the most realistic motion duck decoy, waterfowl decoy in general, on the market right there. You don't hear it going or squirting, no, quiet. squirting a fountain from its rear end or you, you can't beat it. So there you guys go. Check it out. Again, Quick Coys. Check them out. Uh, I will link Quick Coys down below at the top of the description or second. It'll be near the top. And then I'll also put it down in the comments as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it's quickcoys.com. Use code Bob at checkout, guys. Use code Bob at checkout. They're going to give you a free gift. Awesome people over there. Awesome people. So, again, uh, across the, all these different platforms and, and brands, it's always code Bob at checkout, and you're going to save yourself money, or you're going to get something for free. One of the two. So, dude, I love it. We need like two more. Yeah. And just I'm going to need one of only. those. Do what? I'm going to need one of those. <laughs> you're going to need one of those. I'm a big, big motion decoy guy. Um, again, they're not dirt cheap, guys, but I promise you. Um, the customer service is going to be amazing if you do have an issue. Um, this guy has spent, man, the, the, la the better part of eight years of his life here, the last eight years, getting the patents, getting it built, taking the time to make sure it's done right the first time. So I haven't had an issue yet. I've put it through its trials three or four times, so I am very satisfied with it. If you are looking for a really good Christmas gift for your duck hunting boyfriend, man, Son, father, grandfather, whatever. Dude, when he gets this thing and puts it in the water, he's gonna be, his, his mind's gonna be blown. Just hit the ground running. It ju this just hit the market, guys. So if you're wanting one, do not sit on it. He only has a limited amount of, uh, of stock here. So they're all built in-house, at his house, his shop, uh, by an awesome team. And uh, buy them while, the, while they last, because, uh, I truly don't know how many he has on, on hand, but it can't be a ton, right? So, early bird gets the worm on these ones. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism.